I'm starting to feel a little woozy. I'm kind of busy right now. Hey, genius, if you go down, I go down too. So you better do something about it. Pinty. Pinty. All the toxic masculinity Sergio's got going on, I kind of suspect he'd be really easy to put into a rage. Try it. Pinty. Why are you coming on so strong? You that eager to disappoint yet another woman? What did my mom tell you? Indeed. Why do you keep flirting with me if you're not going to take me seriously? Your inner world looks like a low-budget telenovela. What about this am I supposed to take seriously? Low? Budget? Everything about me is high-end and you know it! <laughs> All I wanted was your respect, but you don't respect anyone or anything, do you? You had the sweatiest little hands I've ever held. Only around you. Aww, that's cute in a disgusting sort of way. Nobody turns me down, Jala. Not anymore! I'm a new man now! You know, I actually kind of liked that weedy nerd who shared him. The self-important jerk you've become? Not so much. Oh. Do you actually even like yourself? Like, really? Do you? Uh, we're talking about you right now. Oh. Oh. It's time for you to leave grade school behind, Sergio. Your persistence isn't charming, it's creepy. Ah! Ugh. Why do mediocre dudes think they deserve the world? Because we run it? Oh, yeah. Sorry I came on so strong, Jala. I've had this fantasy of you in my head for so long. It's time I got to know the real you. I'm ready to move on if you are. I'm glad we figured that out. Cause... I kinda need a favor. Where's the emergency? You told me one of the neighborhood cats got run over. Yeah, about that. I lied. Uh, so I take it you didn't get me an interview with one of the skate punks? No, better. Sergio has some big news. Jala's back! She's in Timberhills. And she's not with Jennifer anymore. Mmm, who could have seen that coming? So what? So, 
We're all Jala's exes. I thought everyone would want to know. Jelly Beans is back? That is big news. So, did you confess your love? Or did you throw up before you got the words out? Uh, I did. Confess, I mean. Not throw up. Sorry, Tyler. I know you two have your whole big doomed romance thing. Had. There's a crater where we used to be. It's extinct. I'm over her. Whatever, Tyler. I'm gonna make her fall for me and then crush her. That doesn't sound very emotionally healthy. Oh, what isn't healthy about long overdue revenge for being humiliated in middle school by your first crush? Ooh, fiery and gorgeous. How have we never met before? I'd remember you. Down, boy. She doesn't play for your team. Ahem. I was thinking we could all get closure. Maybe even be friends. <laughs> oh, wait, you're joking, right? The rest of you can do whatever the hell you like. But trust me on this. The last thing I want is to be Jala Jairatna's friend. Indeed. Jala, you're awake. As you can see, I brushed my teeth and got dressed without setting the house or myself on fire. That's not actually reassuring, Jala. As we all know, you can cause plenty of catastrophe without burning the house down. I made breakfast, but don't expect to be waited on hand and foot while you're staying here. Since Aruni moved out, I'm out of the habit of cleaning up after messy children. Did you guys get into a fight or something? No, Jala. I'm not so terrible a mother that both my children feel the need to flee into the night. It wasn't about you. Liar. Well, it wasn't just about you. Oh, yes. Your dad and me staying up worried sick night after night, wondering whether you were okay. Wondering what we had done wrong. Abort mission, Jala. Abort. Abort. What we did to deserve being cut out of your life? Of course. None of that was about us. Are you and Dad doing okay on your own? Empty nest and all that? Aruni is not the one who's been giving us sleepless nights. Better question is, are you okay? I take it that girl finally got tired of you. I thought you'd be jumping for joy. I would have been three years ago, two and a half years ago, two years ago, even last year. I had to stop hoping you would come home. So it's hard to be happy all of a sudden. Did she leave town like I did? Nobody has quite left Timber Hills like you did. She has her own place in town. It's not far. She comes for dinner a few times a week. Though that might change now that you're back home. Maybe you should talk to your sister instead of interrogating me. She's not answering my texts. I wonder why. You better make it right with her, Jala. And soon, she's getting married at the end of the month. That's why she left me so many voicemails. Ah, the light finally dawns. This is your mess, Jala. You clean it up. Morning, Jala Banana. 